hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to make a shrimp boil with noodles i know i've already made a boil but this is still it's still a boil but it's a different type of boil so i have my spicy sausages um my extra large shrimp pack of i got the chicken noodles but i might not put the chicken flavoring in it i got some corn and of course i have the potatoes so those are all the items i am going to use for this like shrimp boil so if you're interested in seeing this noodle shrimp boil then stay tuned like i'm the goat they asking me for some pictures and i ain't even blow i'm on my way to the top like i can't be below they telling me that i'm crazy like i ain't even know hit him with a g33 and now he's seeing fun one me two goons all right so let's get started um, if I sound a little off, I apologize, but because I'm not feeling good. But anyways, so we're going to go ahead and take the shrimp out to clean it. Yes, I'm going to clean my shrimp. Um, I like to do a couple passes of warm water just to make sure it is nice and clean. Um, just like I would do with anything else, like chicken or anything else. Now, I do want to take the tails off. Some people like the tails on because that's what they do in the boil. In the regular boils, when you get from the store, they leave the tails on. But I don't feel like choking today. I don't want to choke today. I want to take the tails off. So we're going to take the tails off. And I try to be as gentle as possible so I wouldn't take most of the meat out. Some of them I just end up snagging the whole bottom off on accident. Y'all know this is supposed to be like a jumbo shrimp. And y'all know shrimp shrink. Watch how the shrimp look at the end of this video. It's annoying. I should have got extra, 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 extra extra large shrimp if i knew it was gonna be like this little like i wanted big shrimp but anyways we're gonna go ahead and take the tails off and then we're gonna do another pass of water to make sure that it's thoroughly cleaned I do make sure that I wash my hands in between messing with different types of foods and different meats. So yeah, this is me washing my hands. So now we are about to clean the potatoes. I love potatoes. I needed to get me some potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse and scrub these potatoes, potatoes as best as we can. Y'all, y'all gonna see how dirty that water is while I'm like cleaning these potatoes and that's why you need to clean your potatoes honey because ain't that ain't made no sense how brown that water was but yeah I did decide to let them sit a little bit just to make sure that they were clean um so yeah I just probably let them sit for probably about five ten minutes and then I rinse them out and we are about to start cutting the potatoes. Now we are about to season our shrimp. I got a couple of seasonings and I'm gonna show you guys. So we're gonna start with a little bit of Kanye pepper. I can't really tell you guys measurements. I just eyeball it, sorry. We're gonna put some Old Bay seasoning, of course. I love me some Old Bay seasoning. Some garlic powder. I love garlic powder, so I put a good little bit of garlic powder. Um, and then we are also gonna put some black pepper and sea salt. Thank you. 
I felt like it was missing something, so I put some more seasoned salt, like regular seasoned salt, and it got the color that I really wanted it to be, so I was satisfied. I didn't add any more seasonings after this because I don't want anything to be too salty. So now we're back to the oven or the stove or whatever y'all want to call it. I am cutting up the sausages because y'all know the sausage link come linked together in pairs of two. So I cut them so they separate and I'm eventually cut up the sausages once they get big enough. So once the water started boiling, I started to put my potatoes in. I wasn't going to throw them in. So I got this spoon that came in my Smurly set. And I slowly put the potatoes in because I did not want that water to splash on me. No, man, we is not getting burnt today. So I'm only going to let them sit in here for probably about five minutes because I am going to end up moving the potatoes to the sausage um, pot because I wanted to get the juices and the seasoning from the sausage juice. So it's not going to be too long being in the pot by itself. So now I feel like the sausages are ready. I caught them right before they started to bust. And I am about to start cutting up the sausages. I'm not going to cut up all of them because I might save some for something else. So I am going to take all of them out though. And I'm going to cut most of them and put them back in the pot of boiling juice. While I'm cutting up the sausages, I'm going to go ahead and put the shrimp in that juice because that's that's like already seasoned juice the shrimp is seasoned i feel like that will be the perfect combination so i'm putting the shrimp right in the sausage juice So now since we got our new pot of water, I'm going to go ahead and put the corn in this boiling water by itself and just let it sit by itself. And I'm going to put it in my bowl when I get my bowl together. Um, you could put the corn in the sausage and tomato and have it boiling together if you want to. I just decided not to um, because I'm about to take the sausages and potatoes off that hot eye because I don't want my potatoes to fall apart, which they did anyway. But yeah, anyways, I like them soft, so it is what it is. But yeah, I decided to boil them separately. Now you cook your noodles how you want to cook your noodles. I just felt like going ahead and cook it on the stove since I'm already using it. You can put it in the microwave, however you want to do it. Noodles is noodles, okay? So now I'm about to go ahead and separate the noodles from its juice. Um, I, end, I am going to end up putting some sausage juice in the noodles instead of using the noodle juice because the noodle juice is in them but water. So I'm going to use that sausage, sausage juice which has the seasonings from the sausages and I'm also going to season my noodles a little bit. Um, I didn't use all of the seasonings. I used probably about two or three of the seasonings that I showed you guys. I did not use all of it because I did not want it to be too salty and I am going to end up making a butter like a butter sauce to put over it anyway. So I did not want anything to be too salty. Um, but I did, I am using unsalted butter, so nothing is too salty. But yeah, this is just me putting it together. Now 
Now, I already, got, I already know you guys are going to ask me about the butter sauce. The only thing I did was I melted a half a stick of butter and I seasoned it a little bit because it already had some seasonings on it. So that's all I did for the butter sauce and then I just poured it all over. So this is what the bowl looks like. I hope it looks good. It, ooh, look at how the shrimp shrunk, y'all. But anyways, we are about to go ahead and taste this thing. Yeah, I'm almost home now. Wasn't that your god sister? No, nah, that was my um, that was my other friend. It's Shanice's birthday, like all um, decorated and everything. She, her cousin, my friend Shanice's cousin, we just talking about everything. Was on. I'ma tell. I gotta tell my sister when she get out. Of um. You don't get off until seven in the morning, so. Girl, this shit good as fuck. You put crab in it or just the shrimp? Just the shrimp. I ain't. I ain't. You put potato? Uh huh. I love potato. Mm -hmm. I made them too soft, but it's okay. With these two threes on my feet, got me feeling like I'm the god.